Okay there, ladies and gentlemen, I was I was on Amazon Prime video. It's a thing. It's like Netflix, only it's free with an Amazon Prime member membership. And you're like, okay, well, there's some movies on here. And they have very special movies. They have all the regular movies, like stuff from Marvel and stuff from umpteen million years ago that you forgot about and that you've already seen. And But they have some of the most interesting films that you can't you can't get on Netflix. And one of those films is the 1991 release of Fraternity Demon. Now what is Fraternity Demon? Well, for you to understand that, I gotta kinda become an old man and take you all the way back to take you whippersnappers all the way back to when I was a kid back in 1991. I was 11 years old, and we all didn't have the internet. I know, I know, 1991 I hadn't even heard of the internet. It wasn't around, you couldn't just pull out your phone. Okay, I think the sirens are done, where was I? Yes. So you couldn't just take out your phone and Google boobies and get boobies. You had to go find something that had boobies in it. Now. You would naturally assume that most of us would go out there and get porn. But you know what? We were a lot more innocent in 1991. Not everyone was willing to look at porn. It wasn't just there. You had to go to a store. You had to pay for it. You had to look like a schlamuck in front of all of your friends in the whole neighborhood. You had to carry that stuff home. There is a certain moral problem with paying someone to have sex. That's whether it's having sex with you, having sex with somebody else. Not everybody's into that sort of thing. So, not everybody is willing to watch porn. And for those of us who ain't willing to watch porn, who aren't willing to stoop to that level, there are movies like Fraternity Demon. So what is this movie? It's a spanker movie. There's no porn, no penetration. Hmm. But, you see boobies. That's the point of this movie. So just imagine for a moment, you're a D&D geek. And you talk to your D&D geek friend and you say, Hey, D&D geek friend, what would you really like to do this weekend? And your D&D fr geek friend assumes you're talking about the campaign. And he says, You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to summon a sex demon who will come to our dorm room and he'll get all of our hot friends. They're not your friends. They just know you but all of our hot friends who are chicks to take off their clothes. Then we sit there, drink diet root beer, and bake out. This is the D&D Geeks Wish the movie. That's what this is. A guy actually gets things from a Vatican book on demonology and using a computer synthesizer is able to summon a sex demon to get everybody to take their clothes off. Now, is this a good movie? By no means. The quality of the acting in this film... <coughs> hard to talk like that. ...is terrible. People are just saying random lines. The lines aren't written well. Yeah. Nobody is watching this movie for the acting. It's not going to win any awards for acting. It's going to win awards for boobs. And costumes. And really nice buttless chaps and things like that. That's what you're going to watch this movie for. That's the whole point. You'll watch this movie when you're the kind of person who wants to see boobies, wants to see boobies moving around, but you don't want to watch porn. Now, the quality of this film is not great. It's probably filmed on a cheap camcorder. But I can tell you something. It would have been a lot more fun to make this movie than it would be to do whatever I did last weekend or next weekend. Because I would have been running around with a bunch of beautiful women and a bunch of boobies. Now again, there isn't a gratuitous amount of boobies, I wouldn't say. There's a decent amount of boobies in this film. But this is the kind of film that you used to go. This thing, it's called, it's called a rental store or a video store. And they used to call them blockbusters, but I, th I think that's what you might know them as. And you'd get this thing called a video cassette tape. And you'd take it home to your VCR, and you'd turn the sound down, and you'd watch and fast forward to all the boobies. That's what this movie is. 
and really it looks like it was transferred to the internet from an old video cassette tape. So you may want to watch this movie. Hey, I saw this movie and I wanted to watch it. And it's not a bad watch. By no means is it a bad watch. But it is a movie you see because you want to see boobies. In any case, that's my opinion. And there's an airplane. Oh, I tried to film this video like five times yet. Anyway, so the airplane is, is being part of my outro. That is my opinion. I am Richard Leland Neal, and I would love to hear what you have to say about this film down in the comments below. And just remember, yes, morally speaking, it is better to watch a movie like this than porn. But you know what? I'm not going to judge you, because I'm never going to know. Unless you tell me, in which case, please don't. Best day.